Welcome to The, the Rockets. Rockets. Can we do it again? Sorry, I was on my phone. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, good evening. And good evening. Good afternoon. And good night. Well, it's The Rockets after dark. Ooh, this spooky. evening, because we're doing it at night. We decided this week we were going to do our podcast later than we normally do yeah so that we could get in all the goodies that happened over the weekend Ooh, like the super, super bowl, bowl. <laughs> but we'll get to that in a minute so, she's sitting over there on her throne i just yes, realized I that you're using the furry white chair is there any reason because i'm the queen of this castle and this is my world and you're just living in it oh so. yeah we we know all that let's talk super bowl commercials oh what commercials did you love were I'm you to be honest uh-huh there wasn't that much good this year. Like, yeah. I really, I always look forward to the commercials. And there were a couple good ones. There were a couple crazy ones. What did you like? Zoolander. Zoolander. That was a good, was a good, was a good one. Ben one. Stiller. I couldn't yes. even think there for a second. Blue Steel. Blue Steel. Yeah. <laughs> what did you like? I liked the Ben Affleck one. It was stupid. So did you? I funny. liked that one too. What good. was that one for? Duncan. It was for Duncan, Duncan Donuts, yeah. yeah. No. Duncan. Sorry. Get it right. Duncan. Sorry. No. There was one about was old it? dogs. No. Well, it wasn't really old dogs, so it started with like the young puppy mm-hmm. and then it grew and then it got her, gray. Through, like her life oh. with her. I needed the tissues for that one. Yeah. I, I don't, don't like, like that. No. no. Don't like that. Oh, um, can we talk about the Tubi commercial? Oh, fooled everybody, right? We have a TV in, in our living room and then another TV in like the next room over for my dad to watch his fights or whatever, you know, the boxing stuff. The big screen. And I thought at first that he was changing the channel. <laughs> it's like something he would do though. Yeah. Right. Because the remotes, they're both Roku's, so they go with the same kind of remote. So I serious, I was so mad. <laughs> Is it Tubi? Tubby? I don't know what it's called, it's but Tubi. Tubi. Okay. Yeah. So you, I, I don't so know if you saw it. I thought I did. You didn't do anything. No. It was the actual commercial where it was like, and we'll go to, and then it cut to like uh-huh. the main screen of their TV or something. Uh-huh. But it was and a commercial like, for Tubi. Tubi oh, and started so. playing yeah. a different movie. And, and it like, fooled everybody because it was the guys that were on the Super Bowl, the mm-hmm. commentators. So it wasn't really breaking up? It was not no, breaking up. It was did quite funny. They to anger for Actually. Us. But you were involved in not necessarily the big commercial, but you were involved in a campaign that they yes, ran at the Super Bowl. And tell us a little bit about with that. He Gets Us. Mm-hmm. Which, in my opinion, was just to start the conversation about Jesus in people's lives. Right, and, and no matter about it. yeah, no matter who's behind the campaign, mm-hmm. it got people talking. Exactly, it has gotten a lot of people talking. It got the conversation started. It did. Definitely. Jesus loves you, yes I know. I knew that was coming. I could feel it. Yeah, and if you don't like what you see on social media, scroll by. Scroll well, on. My favorite thing is to read comments. You know, when I send you a post. <laughs> I'm really sending you the comments. Anyway, in my opinion. That goes for any post you see. Scroll on mm-hmm. if you don't like it. Mm-hmm. I have been the victim <laughs> for many, many years. I got Same. a bad rap. Wow. My reputation Yours preceded was me. Really bad. It was, it was. Sensational, thank you. It's okay. not fun to be on the receiving end no, of the no. lies that people spread about you and the other people reading about it believing mm-hmm. you. I mean, you know that. Great. 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 Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Who scored? The most amazing touchdown for the Kansas City Chiefs, who are the Super Bowl champions. Woo woo! Know nothing about football, but anyway. (laughs) Yes. Who scored your favorite touchdown of the Super Bowl? Why? But why did you do that? He did a little dance. He did a little dance. That was his victory dance. Victory and that dance. was Wayne's favorite part of the entire <laughs> Super Bowl. I think we all did that, though. I think we all did, <laughs> we yeah. All we all like, like woo! <laughs> yeah, but I like your rendition better. The halftime show. There, I was impressed. The football game? You remember the concert? Oh! Rihanna had a Rihanna concert. The Rihanna comeback too. pregnancy announcement. That's concert. the one. Big news. Big news. Phenomenal. I liked it. I loved how it was just her. Mm-hmm. And the only guest she brought out was the baby bump. And like, that was it. And that baby can say, it did the Super Bowl. (laughs) 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 But uh, simple. Yeah. Nothing to it. I mean, the dancers were brilliant. It was amazing. mm -hmm. Oh, I saw on TikTok Mm -hmm. that one of the dancers on one of the risers was doing a TikTok dance instead of the actual choreography. And it's gone viral now. (gasps) Yeah. 
She's actually the second best-selling female artist of all time now, right below Taylor Swift. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good for her. So, I mean, comeback of the I... century. She's got her uh, lingerie line, and she's got her makeup line as well, and now she's the second best ever selling second model. biggest highest biggest second selling highest, whatever you know whatever, word you whatever want it is she's number two she's number two <laughs> for now we also <laughs> saw a commercial for you two yep they're coming mm-hmm. to las vegas Woo-hoo. and they're going to be doing the res a residency at the msg sphere yeah at the sphere at the sphere mm-hmm. we're all very excited what the spear <laughs> it's not the spear sphere Sphere. Sphere. Yes, the sphere. The sphere. No. <laughs> Please. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Sphere. Sphere. Oh, dear goodness. Anyway, you two are coming to Vegas. Very exciting. Any new makeup or skincare trends going on this week? Oh, my gosh. What? So let me tell you. Tell me. Niall Horan just came out with his skincare routine last week, and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was not beautiful. It was fab. It was fab. <laughs> He's fab. It was so good. We got to show you. Look you look fab, you feel fab. He's yes. got a skincare. Well, people ask him about his skincare routine, and so he decided like to do music it. music or skincare. So here's my skincare. Here's routine. my skincare. So there's something called cloud skin now, and it's not anything to do with clouds whatsoever. It sounds nice. It sounds beautiful, but it's really just how I did my foundation when I was 16. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait. Thanks. Did I miss it? Uh, no. So, <laughs> Do you not remember her at 16? It was a lot of trial and error. <laughs> Sorry. More, so. more error than trial, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, you tried everything back yes. then. And what is it they're using? And, you know, when I was 16, I used, like, full coverage and stuff. And it's not necessarily that. Mm-hmm. But it's a mattified face, completely mm-hmm. mattified. And then you use highlighter, like top of the cheekbones and down the bridge of the nose and you know where highlighter goes Mm -hmm. i've never been able to use highlighter but okay that's it days of the week let's get into that it was national yes it is national cheddar day and i feel for you because i know you can't eat regular cheese with your i I don't want to call them medical issues but like you yeah your allergies there's a brand called violife i might slide into your dms um (laughs) And it's the best substitute for cheddar cheese that I've found so far. It tastes the best. It melts the best. And I make mac and cheese all the time now because of it. What did you make this? Oh, I made... Super Bowl. I made... Um, so it's like the Velveeta Rotel dip. Mm-hmm. But I just put in... I have a tiny crock pot. My mom <laughs> has a big one and I have a baby one for my dips and things. So I put in vegan cream cheese... I put in the Violife cheddar, and then I put in the Violife um, smoked provolone slices, and then the Rotel, and a little bit of Country Crock plant cream, and I just let it simmer in there for two hours. It was delicious. And it was super good. Yeah, Did you even tried you it. You wouldn't have known the difference. No. I tried it. It was good. It was, it was lovely. Delicious. Yep. And you made cheesecake. Oops. I made cheesecake. Dairy-free and brand, gluten-free. But it's from Walmart, and it's this cute pink and white box. It was good. So cute. It was really, really good. I'm a really cheesecake good. person. It was good. It was delicious. If he says it's good, it must have been. Passed the cheesecake yeah. test. <laughs> anyway, if you're watching us on Wayne's Instagram, you will see that we are decked out for Valentine's Day. We are. Happy I Valentine's love, Day. I love hearts. That's the reason I'm wearing hearts. You wear hearts every day anyway. That's not the point. But, you know. But you decided you love yeah. yourself, Boxing which is love. why you are wearing a pocket rocket. It's beautiful. Sweatshirt. Um, there's your heart. It's lovely. Ah, um, so lovely. yeah, today's Valentine's Day, and mm-hmm. if you're watching us, hello, and thank you for subscribing. And if you're not watching us and you're just listening to us, go to Wayne's, go to Wayne's Instagram at Wayne McCulloch. You can subscribe, and you can watch us too. Next Friday is No One Eats Alone Day. Oh, I love that. And something that we do every day is eat dinner together. Pretty much. Yeah. And I love that. I love that we do that. A lot of people don't, but I love that we make the time to eat together. Yeah. You have to. And if people come into town and they're friends of ours, we'll be like, come over, come for dinner. Can't you see Extra a chairs. Of seats left in yeah. Well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Belfast words went down a treat last week, <laughs> and we got a lot of. Well, resp- I don't know again. why you're covering your face. A lot of responses in our people slitting at our DMs, right. telling us how 
cool it was and how fun it was and definitely to do more. Whoops. So I've got a few for you this week. I will start. I'm excited and we'll do it in order again. So you, so me, me, you, and him. Then him. Okay. So Sorry. our first Belfast word this week, Wayne. 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 <laughs> Wayne. Pain. 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 Notice how Wayne and pain go together. Yeah. Ache. 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 Account. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I was that made me choke. That. Face. 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 <laughs> you know that's going on the the Rockets podcast Instagram, oh, don't definitely. you? Definitely. Peekaboo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody can see it if you're just if they're just listening, so they have to go to your oh, right. the Rockets podcast yeah, Instagram to see all our see all our smart. fun stuff. And then my final one is can or Canada. Okay. Canada. So I know that I say the country different than I say <laughs> the word. Okay, so let's start with can. Can. To me, can. Okay. Canada. Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> so I wonder if anyone could help me with something. Anyone out there in the interweb could help me with something. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yes. Go it on. is now. I want to get Wayne on Dancing with the Stars Ireland. If you just... Why? Well, because you're awful. You can't dance. And I think we just saw you doing Pacheco's exactly. dance. That was good. Only if you're watching. But we just saw yeah. him do it. And I just think it would be awesome. It would be hilarious. Damien McGinty was just on it. Damien McGinty is still on it. He's still He's on still it. He's still on it. He must be good Stop. on but anyway, if you have any contacts from Dancing with the Stars Ireland, hit me up. Let me know. I want to get Wayne yes. on it. You are a singer. I am. And that takes me to my next point. Tell me what happened with UNLV hockey. Well, I am the UNLV resident national anthem singer for their hockey. Woo woo! Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm very thankful to be doing that. Uh, the Golden Pipes recommended me mm -hmm. to the UNLV team. And that's how I'm able to do it. So I'm very excited to be doing it. I'm doing it again in two weeks. So uh, if you are in the Las Vegas area and want to come to a UNLV hockey game or at City National Arena, two weeks. We're in, a, in about a week and a half. Tell us what you're campaigning for. I know you did last week. Come back. Come closer again. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I will sing anywhere. If you need me to sing at the toilet, I will. Or for what? For the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> We're campaigning for yeah, the Super Bowl. So I feel bad for people listening to this because they cannot see the ridiculousness <laughs> that is coming up. Yeah. They can just hear us screaming, screaming noises. making noises, the whole thing. <laughs> you should subscribe. At least you would have some warning for all this screaming of us going, Raiders! Hey. And you would see, what did you say? Nothing. What did you say? I would say Patriots. <laughs> Austin, I love you. Oh, oh yeah. he's stunning. What a freaking star. And let's talk Austin Butler, because we yes. always do. Yeah. But this week, it's not just, hey, let's talk Austin Butler and mm -hmm. pretend to move on. This week, right. he's going to be on Hot Ones. He's a hot one this week? Because he's a hot one every week. <laughs> 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 I don't actually really know what Hot Ones is. So I don't really either, but I do. So it's an interview. <laughs> what? I didn't make any sense. What? So we found it one night when I was cutting his hair. Mm -hmm. He turned on the TV and that's the only way I can cut his hair now. I like hot stuff. Is with the TV on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Haircut. So we turned it on and there was a Will Ferrell episode of Hot Ones. That's right. And I was like, oh, it's that guy that does interviews, but you have to eat hot sauce on wings oh. and it progressively gets hotter. Oh no. And they have like the Scoville scale of like how hot it really is. And there's like Carolina Reapers and everything on it in these sauces. And these people are insane. He is losing his mind at this point. So that's what it is. He is going to get interviewed on Hot Ones. And each question, he's going to get a hot sauce that's hotter than the last. And he's going to be crying and like drinking. Why, would, you, why gonna, would someone agree to do I that? I would love to do it. I think it would I be hilarious. That's what we'll do when, you cut, when we cut your hair this week. 
We'll watch the Austin Butler Hot Ones yes. episode. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. No, because if, if you're watching Austin Butler, you're not oh, going to cut my hair. Oh, she'll not be cutting hair. your hair. I'll have slices of my hair. That's very <laughs> true. Austin Butler. <laughs> So we were talking about comments earlier, and like I got this comment on one of my Graceland posts about how the security at the guest house SECURITY! SECURITY! People were stealing Cadillac converters, but my Stop. car never converted into a Cadillac, so Stop. I don't really know. I don't know, okay, so people who are listening won't know what's going on, but right now we are... Wayne has decided to have a snack. Let me see, what is it? What are you eating? Graceland <laughs> chocolate. You ain't nothing but a hell no. Where did that come from? Viva Las Vegas. Woo! Viva Las Vegas. <laughs>